hi guys i hope everyone is doing well um i just wanted to come on really 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 quick because i have a thousand things to do in the next few minutes but i wanted to come on really quick and show you guys um a quick tutorial on how i remove my acrylic nails at home uh, which is much faster um much more cost effective and much more convenient for you so stay tuned and i'll show you exactly how i do it okay all right guys the so, um essential things that i use to do this at home is of course acetone i also use regular rental spool you can get whatever kind from the regular grocery store or you can get um from the dollar store it really doesn't matter a uh, fingernail file or drill a uh, nail clipper or cuticle trimmer as they call it um a fingernail clipper if necessary and no a buffer sorry <laughs> and a cotton ball or a cotton square okay so first what i start out doing is taking my rental spool i'm about this strong and i just rip a piece down here so it should maybe be about this wide and i actually go ahead and start off and start ripping 10 but for the purpose of the demonstration i'm only going to do one nail so you take a piece of rental spool put it to the side and then what you do is take a cotton ball cotton square like i said and you rip it in half okay trying to make me look weak here but um you take this rip it in half and then what you want to do is take your acetone and you want to completely drench the cotton ball not to the point where it's dripping but just making sure that it's covered okay so you do that and then what you're going to do is fold the cotton ball until it kind of forms like a square to the um area of your actual nail so you're going to take that and apply it just right over your nail there okay so once you do that kind of hold it in place and then you're going to take your rental spool and wrap it around your nail making sure that the entire nail is covered and actually bring it down just a little bit past your nail to secure any type of moisture in there and what you want to do is wrap it around but wrap it really really tight because the point of this is making sure that everything stays um, nice and tight and moist inside of the actual foil so once you get to the top what you're going to do is twist it around really really tight and bend it back that actually adds a little bit um, more tightness to it okay so what you're going to do is let this sit on um, for about an uh, hour or so depending on how thick your acrylic is the longer it'll need to sit but you'll be able to tell once you pull it off if it's not ready or not so if it if you go to pull it off and it's not ready just put it back on and one more thing before I um, wait for this hour for my acrylic to come off um, I did mention the fingernail clipper and the um, cuticle trimmer what you want to do with these two things is around the free edge of your acrylic is actually cut around there the excess acrylic where your nail actually isn't so you want to cut that first and then if you notice some areas that's already lifting you can go ahead and you know clip that away as if they would do in the nail shop but you don't have to do it it just makes it a little bit faster for you so again i'm gonna let this sit on for about an hour and i'll be right back with my update all right you guys so it's been an hour um been sitting on my nail so what you're going to do um, to remove it, you're actually going to take it and pinch it near the cuticle area of your nail. And like I say, you can tell if it's coming up or not, if it's ready, um, if, if there's no resistance to it. So pinch it and pull it up and you have a nail without acrylic. And then you should actually see your acrylic inside the rental spool or into the cotton ball. Um, so then if there's any residue left, um, of course, depending on how long you leave it on, there shouldn't be any residue on there. But if for some reason you take it off too soon, just, just take your file and lightly file that little area off and it should rub right off because, you know, the acetone makes it really soft. So you rub that right off. And then lastly, take your buffer and then buff that natural nail to get it back to the condition it was before you put the acrylic on it. And... You can continue as usual so i'm not going to take the rest of my nails off because i don't want to take them off but just for the purpose of this demonstration for you and everybody else who requested it um i just did that so let me know what you think try it at home and um let me know how it works out see you guys 